Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop. And yesterday I asked the Gypsy Girl fortune telling cards about how will Donald Trump's hush money legal case go for him? And I thought I would do a follow up with the Lenormand cards to see what the Lenormand wants to say about it. So I'm gonna use my Belvoir purple deck for this question. So what we do is we shuffle the cards and we pull out, let's start with a five card spread. One, I'm just going to fan them out and take them out from anywhere. Two, three, four, and five. Let's see what we get. So we have decisions road road represents um, the path ahead and it could also represent like decisions to be made okay so this is more the path so there's been a lot of decisions and then we've got the letters the letters represents paperwork information paper trail the tower Tower in Lenormand could represent more to do with law and government. Usually it's imposing buildings and places of authority. Okay. The tree. The tree can represent health and well-being generally, but it also represents takes things take time, like slow, slow moving, slow growing. Okay. And then we have the book. So we have a lot of knowledge that's going to come to the surface i would say a lot of things that we have to learn okay well it hasn't given us an answer yet though it sort of told us more the situation so what i'm seeing here is more like there's been a lot of decisions in the past there's been a lot of paperwork legal papers important papers uh it's taking time it's growing and then we have the books and the books also can represent law like legal books as well so this kind of looks more like the process of donald trump's uh, legal situation evolving to me hasn't really given us an answer so my question to the cards is what will happen to donald trump what what will happen to him like will he win will he lose what's going to happen Okay, so it's not really giving me a clear, direct answer. It's sort of telling me the background story, which is interesting. Okay, I'm going to do another five cards and see what they want to say. So I'm wanting more of a, like an outcome, if I can, please, cards. Maybe it doesn't want to give us an outcome because it's still a process. Uh, okay, so I've got five cards again. So let's continue. Okay, so it's, again, the anchor is about taking time. Uh, the anchor is slow, slow and dragging, drags back a ship. Uh, then we have the snake, which is entanglements and enemies. We have the fox, which is smart people. Um, now, snake and fox can be lies and deception. Okay. Garden, that's to do with the public. And then we have the cross. Cross is to do with burdens and feeling stuck. Perhaps the public will be um, uh, burdened or offside because the garden represents public, but then it shows a cross which represents something's blocked. So the public gets blocked or the public blocks. There's a lot of deception and lies. Um, yeah, it's not really giving me a clear answer though, I feel. Okay, so I'm going to do something I never do, which is going to ask it again. So this is like the third time I'm asking it. So I want to know ex what's going to happen to Donald Trump though. This is sort of giving me the whole backstory, which is very interesting. But I want to know the future cards, please. 
Okay, so I'm going to do it again. So what's going to happen to Donald Trump in particular going forward in this legal case? Okay. I've never done a 15-card spread before like this. Okay. Okay, so friends and helpful people. So he has people on his side and his supporters. This could also be his lawyers who are trying to look after him. Okay, so there's a feeling of blockage there with his supporters and his lawyers with the coffin. Money, so the fish card represents money. Okay, so he may have difficulties with money. Lots of birds is gossip. And mice is sort of like uh, things eating away at him as well. So it doesn't look great. But it looks more like an ongoing battle to me. It looks like a, just a process. And it hasn't really given me a clear... I don't feel like it's given me a clear, direct outcome. So it's saying his friends, his supporters, his legal people will struggle and have difficulty and feel boxed in. There'll be money losses. There'll be a lot of media and gossip. And there'll be a lot of negativity. So it doesn't look positive for Trump. But I feel like it's not giving me like just a, a it's not giving me like a punchline answer. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to look through the rest of the deck because it, I just want to get something. Uh, I'm going to look for the man card, which is going to be Donald in this case, and I'm going to see what's around him. So we're going to find the man in particular. There's the man there, and we have the ship in front of him, and we have the moon behind him. So the moon uh, typically and traditionally represents reputation, and the ship represents moving forward. So he still seems sort of free with the ship. The ship, to, to me, would indicate moving, possibly a lot of traveling back and forward, but it doesn't feel like he's, um, he's trapped or cornered still seems like he's got a way out so perhaps he will find a way out of all of this sort of drama that we've got now that's a lot of cards but he's got the ship in front of him which still shows there's some sort of movement for him okay so maybe he's gonna mastermind his way out of this mess this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop, and that was Lenormand Belvoir Purple Deck.